Hello everybody, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Friday, so it's time for another Friday Reads. And we finally have a long holiday weekend, so I'm very happy that I can get a lot of reading done and just have time to relax. So I hope you all have good plans, but let me just get right into the books that I'll be reading this weekend. So the first book that I'll be starting tonight is a book that I've looked forward to for a while and I'm one of the last people to actually read this and that is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. You may have seen this author around. Everyone on booktube <laughs> was reading the second book this year. Um, these books are highly praised in the you know sci-fi fantasy world. Um, it was winner of the Hugo Award in 2016. So this is the first book in the series. And I've wanted to read this for such a long time. So I'm finally starting tonight. I'm actually doing a buddy read with Candace over at Beacon Hill Books. So I'm so grateful. And it'll be a fun experience having, uh, you know, doing it as a buddy read and having somebody to talk about it with. So yeah, so I broke it up. Um, we're reading just a certain amount of pages per day. And I'll tell you more about it once I get into it. So I'll be reading this over the course of two weeks. Um, so you'll still see it next week's Friday Reads as well. So the second book that I'm definitely going to get started with this weekend is Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is actually the book for the Read Around the World book club where we read a different book from a different country or where the author is from a different country or takes place in a different country each month. And um, Mel from Mel's Bookland Adventures really tries to look for female authors um, that could represent that particular country. So uh, this author is from Iran and this actually is a graphic novel, which I wasn't expecting. You can see the graphics there. Um, and it's supposed to give you a good representation of Iran. So this gives a representation of Iran during the Islamic Revolution. Um, it's pretty straightforward comics, but I think because it's a graphic novel, it may go a little bit quicker. I'm not sure of the content. I still may need to go a little bit slower than I would normally in a graphic novel. But I am looking forward to this. I have heard of this title before. I did not know it was a graphic novel, and um, I really didn't know anything about it. But this is the book for September, so I'm really excited to get into this. And the next book that I'll be reading this weekend and into the coming week is In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. This is part of, this is from my Read Harder Challenge pile that I'm doing for Book Riot this year. I'm trying to get through as many categories as I can. Um, but this is a classic. I'm sure you've all heard of this. This follows a murder that happens in the 1960s. And I believe it follows the events leading up to the murder. It's the murder of a family. Um, and you get the perspective of, I believe you get an outside perspective as well as the perspective of the killer leading up to the murders. That's all I really know about this. I just know that I've wanted to give it a go for quite a while. And I bought this copy. It's actually an old library copy. You can see the library markings. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to get into this and see what I think. Um, it's not very long, but I think it'll be <laughs> quite a tough, you know, grim um, subject. But yeah, I'm really excited to get into this this week. So there you have it. I feel like that went super quick because I don't have a whole lot to say about these books because I haven't yet read them. So I don't know much about them other than what I can tell from the inside flap or the back of the book. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all are planning a lovely weekend and I hope that um, you all have something fun. If you're in the U.S., it's Labor Day on Monday. So if you're in the U.S., you have off on Monday and um, most likely <laughs> and um, and hopefully you have some relaxation along with some good reading. So I look forward to seeing all of your videos and please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all very, very soon.